When I left Auckland, I went to Sydney, and I, uh, the feeling I got in Sydney was that I felt like a grain of sand in a bucket, you know. Uh, when I went to London, you know, I, I just couldn't believe it, you know. It, I was, you know, uh, you know, it, it just, it just, you know, it's so hard to express, you know, the feeling. We've been rehearsing sort of for the last month because uh, we like to do all our rehearsing and out of the studio so that we'll get, get into the studio we know exactly what we want to do, you know. It's still leaving it a little bit flexible, but uh, when I get back to London, uh, we go back into the studio again. Do you never think of changing the name? You know, Max Merritt and the Meteors, it's like something from the past, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, we did. Uh, uh, we thought when we, we did the uh, deal with Arista, uh, we thought we, we tossed it around between the record company and the management and myself, you know, w whether we should change it because it sort of is inclined to sound 1958, right? But uh, they thought, you know, it was sort of uh, uh, maybe like Derek and the Dominoes, that sort of type feel to it, so they didn't, you know, they didn't borrow it. You've really worked hard, haven't you, over the what, last 15 or 20 years? Well, it hasn't been easy. <laughs> I bet it hasn't, you know. <laughs> no, uh, yeah, but you know, if you really want something, you know, you know, and you're but willing you to work for it, you know, that's all, you know, I, I, w I want to uh, be successful, and I want to be successful over there, you know, so I, you know, you got, I got to work for it. Would it be fair to say that to survive, for you anyway, you've just got to stay in the UK? Yeah, well, I'm living in the UK at the moment. I'm living in London. But uh, we are contemplating going to the States. Uh, our manager is from the States. He used to manage um, Three Dog Night, The Turtles, Steppenwolf. And uh, we are sort of tossing it about, you know, whether we should go over there or not. But we're, we're trying at the moment to, to you know, sort of get a little bit more established in the UK before we do so. Max, you'd seem to have run the gamut, you know, of the whole rock business from your teenage days, Max Merritt and the Meteors, to what's commonly called mature musician. <laughs> you know, how do you regard like this that. stage? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> I like you that. You can take that back we'll, with we'll, you. we'll keep that one in. <laughs> It's just that when, when anyone ever talks about you now, or when I read things in the paper, they say, Max Merritt, good old rock and roller. Is that yeah. how you see yourself? That's not how I see myself, but uh, well, I, guess, I guess a few people see me as that, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, no, well, I see, what, what I'd like to really do, is I'd like to uh, establish myself uh, as not just a rock and roll singer, but I, 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 one thing I would never do, and I, I'm, I swear to this, I'd never go into RSL clubs. I'll never do that bag. You know? The time that I can't play concerts or clubs, I'll give it up. In many ways, you know, you, you, you've slogged really hard. Um, I understand, you know, you lost an eye yeah. through music generally. And it's been a pretty tough, hard grind. Do you really think it's been worth it? I'm still doing it. It's worth it. Uh, yeah, it's, of course it's worth it. I mean, I, I, I love doing it. Uh, what, I re what I really love, see, I mean, I like uh, communicating with people. I like hearing, you know, the, the applause, if you like. Uh, throwing something back at me, you know. That's, that's what I live for, you know.